What's up guys, in this video, uh, I'm basically going to run through what's going on with this uh, 250 sized 3, 2, 1. What's up guys, this is part 2 of that video. Hopefully you saw the video of actually building the frame. Now we're actually going to go through the quadcopter and I'm going to explain to you what everything is is I apologize if you can hear noise in the background my house is incredibly noisy so uh yeah apologize in advance so let's solder the power wires to the power distribution board okay let me show you what's going on here now what I did was I put heat shrink tubing on each of the ESC power wires, the red and black, just to make the build just a little bit more clean, right? What I did on this side as well was I went ahead and soldered, <sighs> if I can grab it, the power wire for the FPV transmitter that's on the top that goes on like that, right? So we've got the power for that, but I left two of them unsoldered so that way I can solder them up there so that way you can see how it all works. Now if you look closely, if I can get this to focus magically, this board is labeled plus, which is positive, red, negative, which is black, and this is the main power lead with the JST connector. I really hope that's correct. But you notice I used both red wires. That's no big deal. Just keep in mind that there is a positive and negative, but on this connector there's a positive and on the other side it's actually labeled negative. Uh, I wanted to use nice thick wire for this and I didn't have black so I went ahead and just went with both red but you can see up here I used heat shrink and one of them is black but just keep in mind if you're using the same color wire make sure that you still use positive and negative make sure it's in the right polarity there's a lot of current that runs through these batteries so you don't really don't want to uh normally there's no magic smoke normally the uh there's just fire you don't want to fire. Uh, this kit did not come with nylon standoffs. So uh, I highly recommend using nylon standoffs. I'll have the link to everything that I bought extra for this quadcopter. But that's it, right? Anything extra that I bought for this quadcopter, wow, quadcopter will be in the uh, description below. But uh, yeah, before we go soldering, let me explain what's going on here okay now these motors with the black caps on them these are clockwise right the ones with the shiny caps are counterclockwise and the way to tell that is if you hold the nut and you spin the motor and the nut doesn't come off that's a clockwise motor if you have to spin the nut clockwise to come off it's a clockwise motor on a counterclockwise motor if you hold the nut again and you spin it counterclockwise and the nut doesn't come off that's a counterclockwise motor and if you have to spin a nut counterclockwise to come off it's a counterclockwise motor so for those of you that are having a little trouble trying to figure out what's counterclockwise and clockwise, hopefully that makes it clear. Don't go by the colors. You can have all the same color, but have different rotation motors. But this motor housing, this shell, is a clockwise threaded nut up here. This shell, this motor, is a counterclockwise thread. So it's very important to uh, have 
the X configuration clockwise, counterclockwise. Because this motor's going to spin this way, this motor's going to spin this way, this motor's going to spin this way, and this motor's going to spin this way. If your motor is not on correctly, right? Say this motor needs to spin this way, but you have a counterclockwise motor on here. It's going to spin the nut right off. I guess we have a dinosaur in the house. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it or not. I really hope you can, but... The kid is noisy. Not my kid. Okay. Enough of the shenanigans and rippling off at the mouth. Let's go ahead and get these wires soldered on here. So these are two main power wires coming from the ESC. We are going to find a positive pad and we're going to solder it to the power distribution board. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it down right here. I'm going to take my very hot soldering iron. just touch it just like that now these wires that I'm soldering on on this motor have already been pre tinned so it should be something like that Now what I did on this power distribution board, since I've made several configurations and changed stuff around so many times, I already pre-tinned all the pads. So when you get this board, there's not going to be any uh, solder on any of the pads. So put solder on the pads first, right? Then on your wires, pre-tin the wires. What do I mean by pre-tinning? Basically take the solder be careful not to breathe in a whole lot of the fumes see now you have pre-solder you have solder on the, your wires and they call that pre-tinning then we find a positive pad give it a second bam boppity boop boopity boppity it's already on there okay let's find a negative pad which there's one right here All right, let's make sure that everything is kosher as possible. Nice and clean, positive, negative, positive, negative. Same over here, positive, negative. And that's basically wiring everything up to your power distribution board. Now, you can see there's some extra pads right here with no solder on them. I didn't solder anything up here because I'm not going to really hook anything up to here right yet. LED wise, I still don't know what I want to do LEDs. Because the LEDs that came with the kit were green and red. I don't want to have green and red LEDs. I think for the front, I want to have bright white LEDs. And probably nothing for the rear, but that's for a later date. But as of right now, that's everything that we need to solder to the power distribution board. While we're at it, now while we have the soldering iron on, you notice that there's a camera in the front. Well, the connector for the camera that connects to the video connector that connects to the FPV transmitter is right here. This connects to the transmitter. This connects to the back of the camera. 
there's three wires. The red is power, black is ground, yellow is your typical video. But we need this to go here. Now you notice that I cut the wires in three different lengths on either one. So that way when we solder them together, there's not going to be one big bundle of wire, right? So, before we solder anything together, let's put our heat shrink tubing on. Again, um, any everything that I used extra that didn't come with the kit, like the heat shrink tubing, I'm going to put a link in the description. And I uh, really hope you buy from that link because I get a small little kickback and it really helps me out because uh, of course none of these videos are sponsored. I do all these videos just to help other people out. Okay. Now, people do this differently, but one of the ways I like to do it, and I'm looking around the camera, right you push the two wires in to each other like that and you give it a little twist just like that see you need to take your hot iron and your solder If you have some helping hands, use them, like I do, but I'm not using them because I don't know where they're at at the moment. Then you take your hink shirt tubing and bump the camera at the same time. Blap, just like that. And let's move on to the next wire. Push them together like that. Play. All right. Now we put a little solder on the red wire. Again, red is power. I thought that maybe you should know that. And uh, try to breathe in all of those soldering fumes. Just kidding, do not do that. Put our red heat shrink tubing on there. Now again, I don't know how many times I mentioned this, but uh, the link for the heat shrink tubing is going to be in the description. And it was like a 512 count and it had all different types of colors. Again, you take the wires, you push them in together instead of just kind of like wrapping them around which I guess you can do that but this way it's perfectly flat you're not adding anything to the width of the wire super clean and of course you want to make sure that it's not really hot because if it is still hot and you go to put your hang shirt tubing over top of it it's actually going to start melting heat shrink tubing and you're not going to be able to get it over so you're going to actually have to start all over again. Desolder it, put your heat shrink tubing back on it. And you don't want to do that. And there we go, we have a completed camera wire. And all of its glory. Now again I explained uh, clockwise, counterclockwise motors and how to tell. We've got the wire all soldered up, heat shrinked with the same color just because. For our transmitter, we've got the power wire for the transmitter already soldered to the power distribution board. And 
One thing I want to note too is I soldered the wires directly to the ESCs. I didn't use bullet connectors or any other wire. I basically soldered directly to the internals of the ESCs. I have a video um, explaining how I did it actually taking the heat shrink tubing off of it figuring out what was one two three on the ESC and what was one two three on the motor so we don't have any extra wire anywhere now I actually had to redo the audio for this last bit um, because uh, there was just way too much noise going on and my uh, camera actually nerfed <laughs> it actually took a shit I don't understand why it's like it stops recording after a certain amount of time it's a Sony shot a cyber shot so uh but yeah here's some more glory shots if you like this video then like it if you dislike it you know what to do slam that dislike button if your feelings are different than that leave me a comment any suggestions leave those too thanks for watching